Howdy, Kid Fox friends and aviation enthusiasts and anybody that's uh, just likes Kid Foxes or airplanes. Actually, everybody's welcome in my house. A quick update, unrehearsed, about uh, my spinner. I finished painting it and then uh, other things that are going on here. So I'll show you my spinner. Uh, I did not thin out the paint enough, so it came out with a lot of orange peel. But the uh, color match was pretty close. As you can see, it's a little, uh, I don't know if it's showing up on the, on the uh, camera, but there's a lot of orange peel. That's okay. From the ground, it's gonna look pretty good. And so the other problems I was having is uh, my ECU that came with this D motor. Uh, actually, this, this box has two ECUs in it. And so I'm not getting, I, I get oil pressure and oil temperature, but it's not giving me RPMs or um, water temperature. I talked to uh, Grand Rapids and they really couldn't help me so uh, they told me uh, for sure um, not to tap into this water temperature sensor, uh, not to splice into it because it may change the voltage for the uh, ECU so we need to leave that alone and we have to build a separate system to get RPM and uh, water temperature. Um, so, uh, in my research, I came across um, this device. It fits perfect right here. It has a ground right there that I can, I'll have to, because you have to ground the, the this temp sensor. I ordered a temp sensor from uh, Grand Rapids, it'll go in here, and so I'll make sure I um, remove this anodizing from the threads inside here to make sure it um, it um, uh, makes ground, and then this will go to ground, this little, um, and so this will then go, um, um, So here's the uh, temp sensor I ordered from uh, from Grand Rapids. They say I can go ahead, I will be able to connect this directly to pin number 24 on my EIS, and so um, I'll get water temperature. Now, for my... Um, for my... For my RPM, I had to research and uh, I had to get a distributor-less adapter for, uh, for an RPM and um, because this is distributor-less, it's got two, two uh, coils. This is one of them, the other one's under the, the other one's under the ECU here. You can probably see it right there. I don't know if it'll come out in this camera or not, but nonetheless, I found that Autometer and MSD make an adapter. And so uh, I'll show you the paperwork here. Autometer tack adapter. And this is what I have. Here's my coil. You have a couple of trick, uh, a couple of lines. The center one's a red one, and so that's exactly what I have here. And then from there, um, the red wire goes there. The pink ready. The other wire goes there. The black wire goes to the ground, and the gray goes to either your shift light or a um, electronic tack or a regular tachometer. So I think this uh, gray wire will go into pin number five and it should work on my Grand Rapids, um, on my Grand Rapids uh, engine instrument system. 
So I think that's how I solved my uh, problem of not getting water temperature and RPM. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, I will, it's going to take a few days for the parts to get here, so um, we're uh, working on this as fast as I can. And so we'll give you an update once everything's installed and see if it works. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.